but but we have seen that you know Linux, you know, it's uh, it's uh, it's boring. Nobody talks about it, but everything runs on Linux, right. and at the same time, it handles so many use cases that we cannot even for all the way from mainframe mm -hmm. to NASA to to IoT devices. Yeah. And you know they have somehow managed to do that. And I think Linux is a great example of a success story in this regard. Right? I talked to Linus once in a while, and you know he would say it's not just about uh, that I sh uh, enable people to share the code. It's also about uh, share the vision. You know, mm -hmm. people. I don't have any vision. I don't. If you ask me what Linux will be in five years, I cannot tell you because people bring their vision. Yeah. And you know, so I enable. You know, they bring their idea. They bring their vision. And we don't have any vision. You, know, you can bring in there and you can do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And you can go in so many different directions. There's no single direction that Linux has. Yeah. So that's actually a good use case and a good example also there to follow. Mm -hmm. It's already established and it's boring. Yeah, right. right. But, <coughs> but I mean, I remember when I was, when I was a youth, you know, tracking the minor versions of the Linux kernel and downloading them and building them myself. I mean, there was a time when it was similar, but I think, you know, hobbyists were tracking every commit, you know. And now, I think you're right, we take it for granted, but the brand of Linux is still pretty strong, and I mm -hmm. think people acknowledge that it has a really important place in the ecosystem. And that's where I'd like to see a lot of this technology that's at this conference moving. I think that's the right place to go, as opposed to one of these projects where the right. hype cycle ends up being a house of cards and there's nothing there at the end. 